have reached rest grace with rwgresearch.com. Open dash source dash energy. Ah, this is great video quality. So I'm currently sitting in bed the day before Thanksgiving 2016. And some of you may or may not remember this little clip. Let's go have a look. Really great, and I'm very thankful for that. So, a few things coming up. I got a project. Give you a sneak peek of the project. You'll probably be, no, not my socks. You're probably wondering what the heck is going on. Let's just say that started a, as a gutter project. So, my dad's been here helping me um, do that job out there, which I'll... Hopefully, I'll post a video. Um, I know I'm not supposed to see things that I haven't done yet. I actually did all of it, though. But I'd like to make a video of it because it's a pretty interesting story and amount of work that I did. Gutters turned into what you saw out there, stonework. Just a freaking mess. <laughs> but it's been fun. And okay, so if you don't remember, well, I guess you have to go watch that video. I'll post it in the description. But this is about Thanksgiving and being thankful. So I'm going to show you how this simple gutter project turned into a stair project. It's just crazy. It's going to be a long video. I'm just going to talk through it. 90% of it's pictures, but some of you who like uh, stonework and uh, some other stuff, you're going to like this. So, Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is my house. We're going to start with the gutters and digging putting pipes in and stuff. So I had to dig this hole underneath this concrete slab without getting it out. That was a pain. It's actually as long as my spade. So there's the back of my spade shovel and there's the front. Let's just say it wasn't the funnest thing ever. There's the hole just from one length and then this is the hole all the way out to the road. I actually hit a piece of iron in the wall there. So there I got the pipe fitted put in for the gutter down spout and uh, put that uh, tile back on. I popped the last tile off there. Put all the dirt back. Looks professional. There it is on the wall. Just a uh, pipe comes straight out the wall. It just runs down the wall. I used a hole saw on that actually. Concrete hole saw of course. So there's the front gutter down spout on the house. And here's the back of the house. So the back has nothing. The water can't go anywhere. It's it's a huge problem. And uh, it was like it when we bought it. So I had to deal with it. So this is on the side of the house. I had to dig a trench uh, to put a pipe. You can see a little orange pipe down there. That's the cable coming into the house. Luckily they put it as orange. There's a little storage unit back there too, which you'll see later. So this is the back of my house. and This is where a staircase used to be. I had to rip the whole staircase out. It was kind of rotting, and you can see it there. It's in pretty bad shape. So that's sort of how the staircase came about, which we'll get to later. So I ripped those suckers out. And uh, there's the drain in the very far back. Um, I dug a hole and trenched that out and ripped the wood off the side of the house, and it was a huge pain. So here's the pipe. I had to go actually underneath that orange uh, thing there. Um, there's the pipe laid in all t together and ready to go. So this is the back pipe that comes out the back of the house. And then the other little square thing is a different gutter I put in a while back. It seemed to work out pretty good, though. There's the back of the house, and that goes into the, um, oh, you can see the big, look at that, see that pipe? That's actually the sewer pipe coming down, and I ran right into it. So I had to end up digging the whole thing deeper out further. Bit of a pain, but... I managed because everything needs a slope so the water drains obviously but yeah I got that pipe underneath that sewage pipe and then there was a water sprinkler pipe too and I hit a few roots <laughs> just small ones <laughs> yeah that's not small but I got it friggin oh I remember this is a year ago but I remember it so there is uh, underneath that little storage unit this is a little storage unit that we me and my dad built under the stairs and that's where I put all the plumbing the black thing there you can see is part of that water runoff. And then again, some more of the pipe buried. And then here is a better shot of the storage unit. So there's actually wood 
pallets that go on top of that, but yeah, maybe you'll see it later. I don't know. So this is the front uh, concrete slab I poured for the drain. This is in front of the staircase, and this is in back of the staircase. So I colored the concrete uh, to match it a little bit, a little bit better, which it did. Actually, once it dried. So there's the drain, and then the, where the stairs used to be. You can see how bad it is. So on that side, you can see they're just concrete stones that have been painted and then um oh there's the drain again after it cured and then on the other side this side this side actually has um you know like tile so i had to figure out how to deal with both of them but it worked that looks really nice oh and i worked in sandals the whole time because safety first anyway so i put this concrete up against side the house to try to keep the water from running in the house and uh, later, well, actually, I left it like this, but I was going to put stone against there. And then here I, I put the original paneling back up, so it just keeps the water trapped there. So then I started looking for stones, and I found all kinds of stones. And I went around Lowe's and Home Depot, and I looked, and I looked, and I basically just picked out all the different type of stone they had and how much it cost and what it would look like. And then I actually went into SketchUp. And drew everything up. Unfortunately, the finished drawings aren't in this video. There's the underneath side of the um, thing. So here's what I drew up originally. This is with the bigger stones that I found. And then later changed my mind completely. But apparently over the years time I deleted those photographs. <laughs> and I don't know where they are. They're backed up somewhere. But that stuff's not here with me. So here's some more cinder blocks. That I looked up. So here's the back of the house. It's right up against a dirt hill, and all that water runs down. It runs off. It's a serious issue. So we, uh, let's see, I guess I took all this stuff out. Those were my stairs for the moment. The kids sure liked the dirt though. They had a lot of fun. They had a lot of fun. So it was like this for eh, a little while. But uh, we managed. We stacked some stones up and worked our way around it. And then, uh, oh, I guess we're still working, aren't we? So I cleaned all this up, and I patched the wall up there underneath the door with uh, all the wood I could find. And I went back, and I looked for some more stones, because the stones that I had originally found, um, I wasn't satisfied with. So I found these nice little stones, and I thought I could um, build the stairs out of these, which is actually what I ended up doing. And they were just the right height and width, and then I made a pattern in SketchUp and I, until I liked it. Here's a grading uh, that we used for the concrete slab. And the prices for everything. All those photos are in here. For your viewing pleasure. Why remove them? Oh, and then here's like the concrete uh, dimensionals that tell you how much you need and how much you, it takes to pour how much of a slab and what stones you're using. You can get an idea of how much you actually need. So, they're on the side of the bags. Um, and there's the concrete that we used that was high strength concrete for the slab. Uh, so we poured a slab on the top. You'll see that in a little bit. More pictures of prices. We're almost there. And all the pictures for the stairs that I had in SketchUp are missing. So they're supposed to be right here, but we're going to skip past it. And this is a couple of pictures my dad took on his way in so the the time before don't forget that my dad had a heart attack i guess had been two or not well he, all, he almost had a heart attack um and then he had a triple bypass surgery so he's, he's he's doing okay right now but yeah that was a big hurt so this was the thanksgiving after that he was supposed to come so straight up i picked him up we went straight to home depot or lowe's and we picked up all this stuff so much stuff and uh, this is one of the only videos in this so yeah it was so such a tight spot getting into the back of the house so here's the video enjoy and this is where it begins the wheelbarrow couple brick just a few 
couple bags of plastic concrete, couple bags of mortar, couple bags of concrete, couple bags of different mortar, some stone, just a couple of brick, only a couple of bags of concrete, a Dexter, Grandpa, a few more stones, and a few more brick. And that's about that. What do you think of that? I'm ready. Look good. Get a drink. Grandpa got my hole dug out. I got all the dimensionals done. You got a pipe in there. Only a few items back here. Okay, well, we better get started. What? Wow. So, yeah. Uh, there was a lot of stuff to carry. And, uh, it was a huge pain in the butt. Because there's a little bitty tiny space to get to the back of my house. And we carried all that stuff back there. Uh, yeah. Let's just say it took a little while and it was exhausting. But we managed... We managed. My wife carried a lot of those bricks that you see right there. She was tired as well. So we cleaned up a little bit more of the back, got everything prepped. Look at all that. That was so much. And then look, there's even more um, brick on this side. I call those stone. I don't know what I call them, but those are blocks. Anyway, once again, the kid's having a lot of fun in the dirt. There's just an aerial shot from the roof. Quite a few quite a few uh, bags and blocks and stones and bricks there's Dex hanging out down there <laughs> so there's my dad we're working late at night and I gave him all the drawings and sketch up that I made and I told him how much to dig out and how much to level and where we wanted to put it and then he did a lot of this while I was at work that day so he leveled everything out and put it in the forums forums and then we uh, mixed up the concrete by hand and poured the bottom slabs so there's a slab on one side and there's a slab on the other side and both of those um, here I put uh, rebarb and the uh, bracing and stuff in there so both of those hold the actual stair parts and then the top is actually different so leveling it off smoothing it out used a uh, a piece of wood here where they had a straight cut on it and filled a little in and then smoothed it out with that and used the level to make sure it was nice and level worked really well it turned out nice I was uh, pleased with it there's both of them so those were actually where the staircase go the dirt in the middle is where the top slab is going to be which you'll see dad and RWG always got to mark stuff <laughs> even though we covered it up so there's my dad He's uh he built houses for his entire life, so he knows what he's doing. So I let him guide me, and uh, I took all of these pictures. And so at the very end, there's actually pictures of me working, but uh, I'll leave those for the end. So we measured out in the bucket. I uh, I measured out exactly how much I wanted to use for the water there. That's what that was. So we cleaned up the wall with a wire wheel so that when we put these block up against there the concrete would stick because that concrete wall actually has holes in the bottom where the, the water drains through as you can see it's wet on the right side there that's because the water actually drains through the bottom so here we are oh forgot to turn that picture we laid the bottom pieces and then the little bit that was left we decided just to pour uh, fill that in with concrete instead of cutting block there's no reason to cut block so we just put it in fill it in with concrete so between each one of these we put a, um, a metal grate there and that just held everything in place or that's the goal so nothing can shift around I don't trust just the blocks on top of each other there's old O'Reilly year ago hanging out oh, Lily actually wears that minion shirt now I think that's fun uh, my dad like I said I, I actually laid uh, I don't know, I did, what, most of these. I don't know, we worked about an even amount, but I let him show me, and then I tried to lay as many as I could. 
He's over there cutting while I was laying. So you can see on the far right side there, there's some blocks that are half cut, and then the other ones are cut. O'Reilly watching us. Yeah, um, this project went, you know, pretty smooth since my dad was there. If I had to do this by myself, it would have took me ten times longer, so I'm very thankful that my dad was able to help us. Riley back there watching. I had to take the pictures, so like I said, I'm always in the back. Yeah, I broke one there. I was beating on him to put him down to get it flat, and I busted it through. <laughs> so we always wetted everything, um, helped the, the concrete stick and the mortar stick um, to the next object. Otherwise, it dries so darn fast, so always wet stuff down. So here we took a piece of um, that grating, and we bent it at an angle. And that was because we're going to put the concrete slab is going to actually be poured right up against this edge. So as you can see, the backside has a little ins and outs there. That was just how it fit for the front to be the correct height. That picture's kind of upside down looking, but you can see the there's that nice. So this ties everything together. So because of this metal in there, when we pour that top slab, you'll see everything fits nicely. So my dad was back here laying out blocks uh, to measure them up because, again, I was not home. I was working while he was doing some of the stuff at home. So this is the other side, right? Yeah, the other side. So there's my dad, all excited because we got all the block laid, and it was super late at night. But we had to get this done in a short amount of time while he was here. So got them all laid up. Looks really nice. And uh, so we could let it sit overnight, and then the next day I believe I was home so we could rock our socks off, get everything knocked out. But yeah, so that was the underneath side. This is just the base foundation. So the front here, you can see there's just the wood. So what we decided to do, oh, here's the, here's the stone just laid out by hand. And anyway, we back to what I was telling you, we, we, we ended up... Uh, putting aluminum against the front and then blocking both sides to try to get any water from going into this space. Um, originally we dug a lot of dirt out so we actually just dug some dirt off the back of the hill and we filled this whole thing back in. But we had to lay something up against the house because I was afraid it was going to push through the wood. So there's the dirt all the way up to the top of the center where the back Back, house, uh, back door is there. That's a little bit better angle. So we just filled it with dirt, and that's going to support our concrete slab while it cures. Now, if that dirt ever settles, here we got it wet. If that dirt ever settles, uh, the concrete slab will hold itself up because it's sitting on the edge of the block there, and it's tied into that uh, that metal mesh that we've got there. By the way, I'm sure some of my technical terms are all wrong, but deal with it. So here is the um, pouring. This is the high strength concrete. So we poured and leveled um, the bottom half and then we laid in the metal grate and then we also laid in some pipes and some rebarb and then we poured the rest of the concrete on top of that and this was to uh, obviously strengthen it. Uh, I can't remember the thickness. I think it was six inches thick Sounds about right. It was the same as one of those blocks. Those are short blocks. I think it was six inches thick. So plenty of thickness for this small span, plus the reinforcement. So superb. So there it is, all finished up. You can see my drawing sitting there, so I can figure out where I'm going to put all my stone. I spent a lot of time in SketchUp, and uh, can't find those. So here was uh, two different mortar. One was gray, one was brown. We just decided which one we liked better. I think I still like the brown, but we went with the gray. So we had to put up some flashing, so I cut all this stuff and put it on there, and there's some glue, and I glued it onto the wall. This was to keep the water uh, from seeping through the concrete and running into the back side of the house, trying to always keep that water running to the drains that I put in. So here's two stones. Now we glued these stones on, and I wanted to see how tough it was, so we glued it on and let it set for the night. And when I came home, I tried to pry it off, and man, that stuff stuck good. So here's the edges and some of the front pieces. So like I said, I, I did a lot of work, but 
I was always taking the pictures, so my dad's always working. He did a lot of work, too. So he's putting the front side on first because the top actually lays uh, over that. So you can see we marked the stairs with chalk on both sides on the top and got the whole front side in. So now we start laying the top stone on. And uh, like I said, we just glued these all in place. So I just used uh, um, the level there and got everything square and made sure everything was right. And when I glued them on, I put enough on there to make sure they were all level. So I did everything I could without cutting any stone. There's the top. We chalked everything or pencil. I guess that was pencil, not chalk. So I used pencil and marked everything. So I knew exactly where to lay my, at least keep my line straight. Because uh, the liquid nail uh, stuff was made for stone. That's some really good stuff. The stuff didn't set too fast. So you had plenty of time to kind of move the stone around before it's set up. But I just used a wood, piece of wood. And got this thing laid up. And put everything right. So now I just had to cut all the stones for the edge. So, yeah. Looks good though. I made that pattern, like I said, in SketchUp until I found it. Found what I liked and ended up using this one. Everything was sort of offset. There's rows, but it's offset with the uh, with the front facing. And there is an overhang. Oh, you can kind of see in some of these pictures. So I did this part last up to the front of the house. And the sides are already mortared, actually. So um, yeah, the, the they actually hang up. Okay, there's the pieces I cut. <laughs> I stacked them all up. I could just glue them in there one at a time so they fit right there in that space. Ta da! So, oh, excuse me. So, there is the drawings from SketchUp, and there's the real staircase. Here's the other side. So, everything's finished except for the mortar. So, there's another picture along with the staircase. You can kind of see how I use SketchUp to uh, figure out how many blocks I needed, how many stones I needed. And uh, that worked really, really, really well. Architectural stuff in SketchUp is its really what it's designed for. So here's the mortar in between the stones. Uh, that was a real, really, really big challenge. And uh, there's my sandal-wearing phenomena. You know, you're always going to get hurt. Anyway, back to the work. So here it is. This is basically the finished stonework. So this, this side of the stairs right here, I... I did some filming, and uh, I think we're going to jump on into that film real quick because it, uh, I don't know, I think you'll like it. But we got to get into it. So I finally finished the last there. The motoring took so long. Well, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, I dropped my knife in there. Not quite exactly what I was going for, but okay. Oh, these are the pictures my dad took. I told you I actually did some of the work. Well, these are the pictures he took so you can actually see me doing something. But, uh, yeah, so this is, you know, my Thanksgiving follow-up video from last year. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty thankful for, uh, for all you guys out there watching these videos, checking them out, sharing them. Growing this YouTube channel into something interesting, and uh, hopefully you guys actually like most of my content. Sometimes it's just silly, but sometimes it's pretty awesome. But you know what? 
that's who I am. I post a lot of different random things, and I I think it's wise to sort of leave everything on the same channel, and uh, you know, let everything uh, roll out as it is. See what's going on when it happens. So, yes, interesting times. Always fun. Thankful for family. Thankful for mom and dad, my sister, my other sister, my wife over here who's trying to sleep. She's like, are you trying to make a big And I'm like, yes, I'm trying to get this quickly recorded, but it's not working. You got anything to say about that? You don't have to be nice. <laughs> she says, no. She says, everything revolves around Russ. Yep. And I'm trying to tell her, I'm trying to make this video to show my thanks to all of you guys because it doesn't revolve around me. But anyway, I'm very thankful for my wife because without her, you guys wouldn't have, well, most any of these videos. She puts up with a lot of my nonsense, don't you? But it, but that's way you know, it happens. I got a lot of nonsense. That's why she says I'm the sixth child. Isn't that right? Yep. She says I just want to talk to a grown up when everyone comes home. And I get home from work, and she's like, I just want to have a grown up conversation. And I'm like playing with the kids and like yelling and screaming and making just as big as messes as the kids that you see right there. Just a mess. I'm a mess. But that's what makes me me. I like to have fun. I like to be crazy. I like to be a little dangerous. But I like to have a lot of fun. And being fun is awesome with having kids because I can be a kid with my kids. My wife, like I said, is not real f fond of being a kid with my kids. But I sure love it. Because if I didn't have kids, I'd probably be lost. probably would forget to eat. In a hole. I'd probably be in a hole. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I'd probably be in a hole somewhere. Starving because I just can't stop thinking. Going, going, and building, and doing things. And I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. It's, I think, in my blood. My, my, dad, uh, my dad and my uncle are both workaholics. I have the same problem. And, uh, you know... I don't know what I'll say about it, except I got, I got a workaholic problem. But yeah, what? What'd you say? In one area. In one area. Anyway, so these stairs, this gutter job turned into a stairs, which I'm actually, I really needed to do this. They were rotting out pretty bad. So yeah, thanks to my dad for helping me out, and uh, really appreciate that. So now I'm just talking in the wind. You got anything to say to the wind? You got any fists to throw at the wind? Well, I have plenty of those. Oh, you got plenty of those, she says. She's got plenty of those. Oh, man, you can always see my butt in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> at least you can't smell it. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, when I was putting this mortar in, it took me like, how many did it take? 16 hours or something? Or was it longer than that? It was like Four days. Yeah, it took a long time. Anyway, you can't get any of it on the stone because it would stain it. So you had to very, very carefully fill in those cracks. And then I went back and I uh, sanded it uh, with a brush, brushed it up, made it a brush look. And uh, that turned out really nice. So now I've got a drain back there, and I've got a place for the water to go, and so I can finally wash the stairs off. So here we are bringing back a few bits of the pieces. And, uh, yeah, that was all that was left. That's the only things that we brought back. Worked out pretty good. All right, God bless you guys. Have a good Thanksgiving. If you actually made it to the end of this video, congratulations. Uh, yeah, good job. See ya.